Hi everyone, I'm Taz with Taz Exotics, a channel where I'm going to be showing you my ever-growing dart frog collection. Um, and I guess this is the pilot episode, you could say. Um, today I'm going to be going through my entire dart frog population and um, introduce you to the frogs and their setup. And then kind of what threw me into this whole thing with making a channel is something that's a first for me is my Highlands actually laid eggs. So I'm extremely excited later on in the video. I'm going to be going through the egg collecting process. Very excited, very nervous about it. I've never done it before, so it could be a complete disaster. But if it is, you guys are going to see it here. Hope you enjoy. Okay, guys, so we're going to go around and meet all the frogs that we have. Um, the first ones that we have, which we're actually not going to have for very long because these guys are sold. Um, but these are Dendrobates tinctorius azurius. There's two blue ones. That's the azurius. And the yellowback's coming in here. That's the Dendrobates tinctorius yellowback. Now these guys are found, they're a lowland species. They're mainly found on the ground in the leaf litter. They are from Suriname. Uh, here's Azurius coming up. Um, they're a bigger dart frog compared to some of the others. Um, but like I said, these guys are actually sold, so don't get used to seeing them because they will be gone in about a week or so. Alright. So these guys are some of my Renatomea species. These are Renatomea imitator southerns. Um, they are found in the uh, lower land of Peru. Are you filming? Can you see it? Yes. Where? There's one right there. Can you record them? Yeah. Okay. Um, these are what they would call a thumbnail dart frog because they're a little bit smaller but as you can see they're extremely bright with uh, blue spotted legs with uh, green uh, backs with black spots. Can you get the other one as well? Um, these guys are pretty bold. They come out a lot during the day and eat some of the flies that we provide. Um, but they are one of my favorite frogs that we have. There's only two in here at the moment, but we do have plans to get two more to start a breeding group. Um, so this tank has a bunch of different frogs right now, but they are going to be moved into their own enclosure shortly. Um, there is actually, if you can get the guys at the top there, Tristan, zoom in on them a little bit. These guys are Dendrobates erratus boca del toro. Um, they are from Panama area. These, the locale is boca del toro. Uh, here, let me open this up so you can actually see. Hopefully they don't jump out. Go ahead. <clears throat> Um, they're a larger dart frog as well, um, but they're pretty bold. They're out a lot during the day. What are you feeling in there, Tristan? Make sure you get the frogs. Uh, green and black. And then as you can see up here, these are another thumbnail frog. These are actually brand new. We have four of them. They are Renatomea imitator um, terrapodos. So these guys are also from Peru, just like the Southerns, but they are a lowland species as well. Um, blue legs with an orange to yellow head. And so far they seem to be liking their enclosure, they're out running around a lot. So again, these guys will be separated here um, shortly, but because of space they are being housed together just for maybe a week or two. So these are my prize frogs, my favorite ones. These guys are the Renatomea Highlands that we actually um, got eggs from. Let's see if I can find one. There's one right there. I don't seem to be able to get him. There he is. Uh, here. Oh, there he is, coming into focus. So these guys are bright blue legs with black backs with black lateral lines going down. And these guys are from the upper Andes Mountains in Peru. They're actually considered um, non-existent in the wild anymore, so it's pretty special that we have them. And this is a breeding group of three. And I guess we can do an update on one of the eggs that we collected from these guys. Alright guys, this is um, egg collecting 
take two. <laughs> the first clutch of eggs didn't seem to be viable, um, so we're actually going to scrap that footage and use this new egg collecting footage. Like I said before, highlands are an arboreal species from Upper Peru in the Andes Mountains, so they like to go as high as they can to lay their eggs. Some imitator, like Renatomaeus species, lay it down in the, in the leaf layer. They like to lay up high. So we're going to take the bromeliad out, scoop the eggs into a petri dish, and we're going to raise these guys on our own. So, we'll pull the bromeliad out. I don't know if you can see them good there or not. And I'm gonna use my trusty egg scooper, which is a plastic spoon. And we're gonna scoop them in here. Very gently. And just like that. I'm hoping you guys can see them. And that's it. Pretty simple. Okay guys, it's been about a week since we collected those eggs um, the other day. There were two of them. Um, unfortunately, one of them was infertile. Um, however, one of them is actually developing very nicely. Um, see that right there is the infertile egg. And that right there, if you can see, is a Highland tadpole. Um, so that's great. In about another week or so, five, six days, um, it should be a full grown uh, tadpole. As you can see now, it's not completely um, developed but we're getting there uh, so we're very excited about that that'll be the first tadpoles that we have produced with the highlands um, that up there is the dad he's a very pretty frog he's going in for the night I don't know if I can find any of the other ones The only one I see at the moment. The other ones are hiding pretty well. Yeah, so good job, Dad.